Dan Brumbach asking, do you have any suggestions for getting wrinkles out of an Inverness rain cape? He's had it hanging for months and it's still super wrinkled. What's the material? Dan is a friend of ours, or a friend of mine anyway. He's local-ish. He has a rain cape for pipers. So okay. it's not wool. I, I know what he's yeah, talking about. Yeah, it's, it's the plastic. It's, yeah. Yes, okay, exactly. Okay. It's probably a band spec cape made by Mr. Anthony. Um, that is a plas breathable, plasticky kind of blend. Um, don't iron it. <laughs> you will absolutely <laughs> melt it. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if there is a... Yeah. It's take better care of your stuff, Dan. Um, would, would steam do anything? I don't think so. Um, maybe what I would... The closest I would come to, to that is to say um, if, if there are pronounced wrinkles in a particular section, maybe put it between two books or something that's like heavy that's going to put pressure on it over an extended period of time and let it sit for a while. Um, I don't know... I don't know how you get wrinkles out of plastic. We don't we don't deal with a lot of plastic that's not ironable. So, I don't know. Heat. Buy another one, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'd uh, I, I put some put some weights on the bottom of it and hang it up in the sun in the summer, so it just kind of the heat kind of like allows it to like. Relax. Yeah, yeah. With some, yeah. you know, the, the the pressure of the weight on it. You know what I mean? That sounds goofy, but I don't know. I'm imagining it like yeah. a tent, like dealing with a tent. You know, but uh, yeah, fair point. Or a tarp. Uh, lay it, or forget even forget even doing that. Lay it out in the sun. Yeah. So that's that not, it's. I don't know. It might relax it, maybe. Yeah, it, I don't know. I don't think it would bl like not like sun bleach it. Um, do it maybe on a on a hot day that's overcast, so it, you don't get the you know sun bleaching on the material. Um, but something where you can you effectively bake the fabric to make it kind of you know relax again. But hey, I'm not I, I'm not sure I'm not comfortable giving a firm answer on it because we don't deal with plastic too much. Mm -hmm. I will I will say I will say that um, I admire the fact that you're concerned about it. However, I doubt that most people who see you on a performance occasion when you're using it are that worried about it. Um, from, from a standpoint of looking professional, your heart's in the right place. But if it's raining hard enough that you and the rest of the band are wearing the capes, the people are paying attention to the music and they're looking at your faces and the pipes and stuff, they're not gonna care about the, the capes that much. If it's competition, if he's being judged on you know decorum, then uh, I'm not sure. Are you allowed to even wear them for a competition? Yeah, if it's raining. Some people take more care of their stuff or hang things up. Other guys just kind of jam it in a ball. This is Dan. It's not Lucas we're talking about. I'm sure he's fine. That's true. His kilts have never seen an iron after day one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Let us know what you thought of this in the comments, obviously. And, of course, if you don't mind, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications when we come out with a new video. If you want more content, it's right over here.